Yes, my people, damn. CFC, Willis Blue, back with another video. Second upload of the day. Another Chelsea News update. And this in regards to Reese James, Christopher Nkunku, and Nicholas Jackson. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for your support. Please check out the previous video from earlier today, the match preview. And don't forget to check out the watch along. That's going to be happening early hours or in the early morning from 11.30 for the Leicester and Chelsea game. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for your support. Help me get as many views, likes as possible. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the news update. And there's more bad news in regards to Reese James. So listen to this. All reported by Matt Law. So Reese James will have a scan on Saturday to determine how long he is likely to be ruled out with his latest hamstring injury. It is believed that some swelling around Reese James' hamstring prevented Chelsea from fully scanning until Saturday. It is understood that Reese James is devastated over his latest injury setback, with the club doing everything they can to support him. And change of plan Reese James will have a scan next week to find out how long his latest hamstring injury will keep him out. And this is just more jarring news in regards to Reese James. Of all the videos I've done recently on all of his um injuries, this is just keeps on getting worse at this point. Like the guy hasn't been here for the majority of the time. And just look at this from BBC Sport. Reese James injury record since the start of the twenty two twenty three season. Eighty seven games for Chelsea. 30 games for Reese James and 22 starts. Everything else, as you can see, minutes played, match started, matches missed. He hasn't been here for the majority. And this is the most common theme. And I'm not going to sit here and say that um, Reese James um, just likes this to happen because no one want to be injured this much. And I know there's going to be people out there who are going to be like, oh yeah, like he's finished. And to be honest with you, he could be. He could be at this point. Like, I am someone that wants Reese James to be coming back to be playing at his highest level. But whether we like it or not, the amount of times I've said come back healthy, you've come back a numerous amount of times and you just get injured again. Like, if it's jarring for us as fans, then imagine what it is for a player like him. Like, he literally got a tattoo that says I just didn't quit but regardless of if you didn't quit or not your body just seems to give out hamstring 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 year after year after year like you can't play even 10 games straight like it's so frustrating for us as fans and like I said it's frustrating for you as a player seeing all of your guys out there playing regularly and you're injured and you are the captain the captain of your boyhood club like you've won a, you won the Champions League and now you are the captain but ever since you've been captain you basically haven't been the captain that must feel like hell that must but that's just how life goes at times injuries upon injuries and it's happened to a numerous amount of players and it seems like Rhys James seems to be one of those players because even when he does come back from his injury, whenever we find out how long he is out for, how long will he be fit for a long period of time? That's the key thing because we have other guys like Malo Gusto, Josh Akumpong, who realistically know that if Rhys James is fit, they're not starting. Something like that has to change because like, we're just holding ourselves back, keep on waiting for Rhys James as much as we all want him here. And to be playing regularly, we have to start thinking about the future because we can't be waiting. This Since the 22-23 season, you see the stat. We are in 24-25. Next season is 25-26. We have to start thinking and having these uncomfortable conversations about Reese James, but it's looking likely that he could be finished. I'd be so honest, he could be. I hope he's not, but he could be finished, if I'm going to be honest. So... 
you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on this Reese James news do you think he'll come back stronger than ever do you think he will ever be fit for a long period of time let me know down below and now it's time to talk about Christopher and Kunku and this is the news that came out and this was reported by Def Life so a source close to Christopher and Kunku did suggest he is not too happy with how things are going right now it should be pointed out that the source also insisted that Nkunku has not made any complaints. Chelsea still regard Christopher Nkunku as an important member of the squad. With so many matches remaining, they believe there are plenty of opportunities for him to make his mark. They do not want to sell. It would take an extraordinary offer. So... That's just more news on Christopher and Kunku. We've seen these news throughout the last week or so, just over a week, coming about, coming up, talking about is he unhappy about his game time? And realistically, a player of his level is never going to be happy with just playing Conference League and Carabao Cup. He wants to be playing in the Premier League and not just playing because he comes off the bench more often than not, but he wants to start. He wants to start. He's only started one Premier League game and that was against Man City on the opening day. But that's just how it goes. We're trying to make a new system and a crew's going to have to force his way in there. Because in December, we have nine games in the Premier League. He's going to be playing at least three of those games, hopefully starting. And when he does start, or whenever he does come off the bench, he needs to make an impact to force his way into the starting eleven. He has to. He has to give Ezra Resco some headaches and some choices to make. Because if all of that stuff, all your goals, you scored 10 goals in all competitions for us, you're the only player that can say they've contributed in every single competition, realistically with important goals, important goals. So for me, I really hope that you get your chance because I believe you are a top talent and without any shadow of a doubt, with all the players that haven't been playing regularly and are on the bench majority of the time, you are the number one that needs to be playing regularly because you've been doing the utmost and like I said in every single competition you have contributed and given us important goals so um, so yeah I just hope that you do get your chance this December period is going to be make or break because we can find out who Chelsea start 11 really will be for the majority of the season and hopefully Christopher Nkunku is in it because if he is in it we're definitely getting them goals, but we have to just see who falls out because this is an important month coming up, starting tomorrow with Leicester City. So hopefully he can shine just like Chelsea can shine because we just want the best team possible that can help us get top four. And I do think Nkunku could be in that team. So you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think Christopher Nkunku should get more game time? Let me know. And now to move on to... The last topic, and this is in regards to Nicholas Jackson, reported by um, The Athletic as well. So, Chelsea regard Nicholas Jackson as one of the top three centre forwards in England's top division. And if I'm going to be so honest with you, I absolutely agree with him. The only two people right now that I would put above Nicholas Jackson realistically is um, Alexander Isaac and Erling Haaland. Um, I know Ollie Watkins is very good, but for what Nicholas Jackson does for Chelsea with the link up and score, like he links up with Cole Palmer, he links up with so many other guys, he is a top quality talent. The goal scoring, as well as the assist, he contributed in his first season 17 Premier League goals, and in just 11 matches already, he has nine goal involvements. He is one of the best talents right now. And with so many years until he is in his prime, he's only going to get better and better. And this is some flowers that needs to be given to Nico because he's been very underrated. So many people wanted to slander him, but he has improved so much, especially his finishing ability. One thing he needed to improve and he has been doing it. Scoring most of his big chances. Can't say every single big chance, but not even Harlan scores every big chance. So... Nicholas Jackson, big you up, man. Big you up. I hope you 
have a very good game tomorrow because you're most likely going to start and hopefully you can score some goals because like I said already in this December period it's make or break we will find out who our starting 11 will be in my opinion as well as seeing will we be contending for the top four or 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 can we compete for the top four that's just my opinion we need to go on a win streak so hopefully we can but yeah man that's gonna be it for me my people them make sure to check out the watch along tomorrow as well as the review and the play rings will be uploaded tomorrow so stay tuned for that have an enjoyable friday evening and as always come on chelsea come on chelsea in a bit my people them love